Hello friends, today my video is regarding Leica beads that is the clay beads are just uh, burnt or uh, baked in oven and such that the air bubbles will get filled in it and when you soak it in water for 24 hours they will get inflammated but the thing is that this will be uh, useful in indoor plants and we can be keeping the plants safe from fungal infections. Also, uh, the disadvantage with this is you cannot have nutrient in this. So, the water which you add for this for soaking can be loaded with nutrients. Okay, And also the other use of this Leica is in semi hydroponics it can be used. Now I will uh, try to propagate and show you certain plants array of plants here which i am keeping so friends this is a jade plant and uh, i'll try to propagate all these plants with this leka beads but this kalancho needs nice scorching sun and see this belongs to the native of south africa see the red margin leaf and it needs full day sunlight this is an uh, sansevera which is a dwarf variety and when this comes, it's an uh, fishbone cactus, okay, you see, and these needs less water only. Other set which I am going to propagate is Monstra adenzoni with the variegated uh, pattern or uh, just plain leaves with the fenestration or the holes here. It is just ap appearing because it's just a baby plant. and. So friends, normally we go for costly self-watering uh, potters, but here we can take used water cans just like this. We can cut and okay over here in the half size of the one liter bottle. The basal side can be filled with water. As I have uh, drained the leka beads, the color is brown, no harm. So the top half I am loading it with the soaked leka beads for 24 hours. Now with this system, we can have self-watering uh, planters. Now I will show the planting. The first thing which I am taking is fishbone cactus. Now I will just let the roots deep inside. And now add the clay beads inside this. That's all. So it's harmless, easy. Okay. You can avoid fungal infections very beautifully but the only thing is you have to soak the water with the nutrients now the second plant is Dracaena fasciata it's a dwarf variety it's got beautiful variegated snake like uh, pattern now say I put some basil leka beads in the water can top and now I am letting the plant inside and now the basic planting method is again refilling it with Leka beads might be weekly once or twice you can soak the beads again in water ok now this is Kalancho terciflorus the native of South Africa the leaves are broad clam shaped or shell shaped it's a beautiful cactus now this is a baby pup tomorrow I will show you the mother plant now the basic thing which we have to care for Kalancho terciflorus is it needs a dry hot sun which has to be completely exposed in sun and the soil medium has to be well drained so I think this will be suiting it very well we will just have a try and see ok so friends now I have uh, planted three uh, plants of money plant variety the neon pothos glacier pothos or epipremnum and the dark green money plant plain green variety so all these have kept in an uh, pineapple ceramic planter ok with the beads and we will see how it performs for the next week and for the smallest water can I have kept the jade variety the bigger one so in total we have tried a small uh, indoor gardening plant plantarium with the leka beads and now I will give a top shot view of all these things ok so this is Kalancho and here the 
fishbone tail cactus, succulent, sansevieria, dioscoria, trifasciata, jade, and all the three types of money plants. We'll tell, okay? And we'll see how the, it performs throughout the week, and I'll shoot it for you for the next week, okay? Thank you. Love you all.